let's be honest, we all like to cheap out a bit. And the brand new Intel B760 motherboards from all your usual manufacturers allow you to do just that. Go for a much cheaper board for your Intel 13th gen based build. But what exactly did you sacrifice by going with B760 over the brand new Z790 boards? Well, quite a few things. Starting off with the chipset itself, here the limitations start to become rather obvious, especially when it comes to the PCIe lanes, because while Z790 has a maximum of 28 of them, the B760 chipset can only manage 14. Wait a second, 14? That's not even enough to manage a single graphics card! And while true on paper, it does sound alarming thanks to some very clever bifurcation and Intel's special DMI technology, with the chipset boasting 4 DMI lanes, the chipset is generally able to get around that, even if it does mean that expandability is, well, non-existent, with lanes constantly having to be shared with pretty much no lanes being left over for anything else. Take this board for example, the B760 Aeros Elite, which comes with two additional physical 16x slots. Those giant slots are both only 1x slots in practice. Oh, and not just any 1x, the PC Gen 3. 1x, so about as slow as you can get. And with just 3 M.2 slots, with only one of them running off the CPU, the smell of compromise reeks from pretty much every single B760 board. But the issues don't end there, because disregarding the actual capabilities of the chipset itself, given how these are supposed to be more budget boards at entry level prices, other features are also scrapped just to make the price work. So you might get worse overall features, for example, worse CPU power delivery, worse cooling for the power delivery, which, if bad enough, could actually influence the performance of your CPU, not to mention less USB ports, less internal headers, and less of other cool features. But depending on who you are, many of those things may not even matter. You may not need 6 SATA connectors and a lot of M.2 expansion and tons of rear USB, that all depends on your use case, and given how if you're buying a B760 remote board in the first place, odds are you probably don't need a lot of additional storage for example, because that just wouldn't make sense for a budget build. So while B760 is definitely very much cut down, the modular prices more than make up for it. But how do you know exactly which B760 mode board you should buy? Well don't worry because I'll be covering a lot of them. And I mean a lot of them on this very channel so definitely stay tuned. Trust me, you're about to be flooded by them. And if you want to help me on my mission to cover every single B760 mode board then make sure to check out our Patreon because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, Eric B, Just a Rage, Ella Ronyak, Bardash Volker, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so so much for support truly goes a long way. Down there you can find our merch store, our Discord server and our social media links as well. But anyway that's what it's, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember to subscribe, like whatever and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye.